Recently I performed a minor upgrade to my computer, providing it with a breath of fresh air, a new solid state drive. The first thing I install after loading a fresh copy of Windows 10 is a virtual soundboard allowing control of my XLR microphone and quarter inch jack speakers. Alrighty, so this is the microphone, it's running into my Windows 10 machine and at the same time I can use my speakers just like this. That's some pretty dramatic music. We can use the speakers at the same time as you listening to me on the microphone. You just heard that through the mic. That's not normally possible in many applications, having music from one source, using the recording in another program, because usually they take control of the sound card. That's what they're designed to do, to utilize the sound card. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make a digital soundboard take control and utilize the sound card. It's the main guy. It's the middleman between every application trying to talk through to your speakers and microphone. It's the middleman. They have to go through it in and out. It becomes that one device. So instead of battling, having to close something, you've opened up Ableton to show a mate a cool song and you just, just want to play it. Obviously use ASIO if you're producing your music or something like that. But if you just want to play something back, this is the way to go. So we're going to go jump on this whiteboard over on the table behind me and we're going to just quickly brainstorm out how it works, how it's the middleman so you can fully understand it because if you understand it, if something goes wrong in the future, say you're, you plug a new screen in that has speakers and those speakers become the default output instead of the sound card, well you understand how it works and you'll be able to fix it up yourself instead of coming back and watching this entire video to do every single step, step by step. So I'm going to teach you and give you the knowledge of how it works so you can help yourself in the future for many years to come. So yeah, let's go. We'll go jump over here and we'll just go do the demo. All right, so first you need a sound card. All right, your sound card is going to be feeding your headphones in. So you've got your headphones and your speakers. We need something to play into the source. So here we'll just chuck Spotify. All right, so you want to play some music and you want to record your microphone at the same time. So you're going to need something uh, like over here. We'll just chuck Audacity and we're going to put Discord here, right? So have a little chat. You're going to need the virtual soundboard. So da -da -da -da. that's voice meter, okay? Now for that to work, it needs to communicate to the microphones. There's some XLR and quarter inch jacks, which kind of look like little, little people chilling out there. So you've got your microphone. Oop, that's your input. It's coming out of the sound card somewhere, right? So it comes out of the sound card and goes all the way into the voice meter banana. That's the, uh, the flavor of their software, literal flavors. Voice meter banana as a hardware in for the mic. Now with that hardware in, you're going to have a virtual in and that's going to come from somewhere and that's going to come from Spotify. And that's going to come via the virtual aux output on Windows. Right, so the virtual out, virtual out goes, goes in to that source and out from that to the virtual in of voice meter. We've got virtual inputs here because the microphone once it's being fed in, needs to come out somewhere. That comes out of the virtual mic out. So this is our virtual inputs. And from that, we'll have the microphone set up as an output of our voice meter. So we'll just go from here into the virtual inputs and this can feed into Audacity. So you can start recording those waveforms and into your chat so you can talk about them good old memes. Now the physical out of voice meter is how outputs from Spotify go out to your speakers or even outputs from Discord, right? Because Discord will have an out as well. So this is gonna feed across over into your outs and your hardware outs for your speakers to make all the cool music come out. All those funky beats are gonna come out through the output there on the sound card. So this is a quick rundown. Um, obviously, yeah, sorry. He can go in there. So Discord can cross over. Go into the virtual app. So that's like the visual representation of how all of this talks together. It's quite crazy what a PC can do just with the virtual soundboard and it's just one install on your PC. Okay, so you're probably wondering why I'm all of a sudden wearing a shirt and not a jumper. 
That's because Bruce here decided to come in from outside uh, all muddy and give me a cuddle, which I didn't know he was actually muddy. And so now my tan shirt is dark brown. Um, sorry, jumper. So um, yeah, that's what's going on there. That's why I've changed shirts. Either way, let's get back into it. So jump on the website, link in the description below, and we're going to download Voice Me to Banana. Use the install button there. And you can also donate on the side if you end up using the software and enjoying it. I've donated to the guys because whatever they've produced is something that Windows should probably have built in by now. Um, it's fantastic and has saved me uh, a lot of heartache and stress when I was trying to get it first set up. Okay, so now launch the software from the start menu. And in the top right hand corner, you're going to need to set your hardware out. So click on A1 and set the MME option of your sound card. Now, once that's been set, go to the top left hand corner and set the hardware input. This is gonna be the MME option of your microphone. With that set, make sure you click and turn off A1 because that's now going to cause a feedback loop from your input microphone straight out through your speakers. So turn off A1 and that stops feeding it out to the hardware out that we just set. Next, we're going to right click the bottom right hand corner of your screen and open up the sounds menu from the control panel. Here, you're gonna select the recording tab, go and scroll down and select voice meter aux input. From here, click set as default and then change the tab over to the recording tab. In the recording tab, you're going to want to select voice meter output and select set as default. This means now that your software on the computer will be feeding all the inputs and the outputs through voice meter. So voice meter is now acting as that middleman that we talked about. So everything's going through voice meter banana. So if you go and do a test now with your microphone, the audio is probably gonna sound like trash. That's because Windows also sets the uh, microphone's input as being a low quality source. So go back to the, make sure you're in the sound tab, right click the voice meter output and go to properties. Go and select the advanced tab of the properties and in the drop down menu, choose something high quality. Get it out of 8 bit into 16 or even 24, depends on how powerful your um, computer and sound card are together, what your computer can hold, but just crank it up. Put it in the studio quality range at least. Please, if you've got an XLR microphone, get as much juice as you can out of it for these uh, recordings that you're doing. And if you choose, choose that, that's how you get these amazing crispy audio sounds coming from your microphone. So I'm in the middle of editing and I've realized I didn't tell you how to make voice made a start up when Windows starts up. So just hold down the Windows key on your keyboard and press R. This will bring up the run command and enter in shell colon startup. So if you enter in shell colon startup, hit enter. And this is going to bring up the startup folder for Windows 10. So any uh, program that automatically launches or anything you want to automatically launch, chuck a shortcut in here. So go to your start menu, scroll right down until you find voice meter or VB audio, open the folder, right click voice meter banana. From that go to more and then open file location. So here just copy that shortcut, don't drag it across, just copy it across and put it into your startup folder. This will now make voice meter banana start up automatically when Windows starts up. Okay, and finally, the last thing you want to tweak is your compression and noise gate. The gate one is super important. If you've got like some cherry blues and you're in PUBG, you're in the top 10, you're crouching down on chat with your mates and you're clicking away, they're going to get absolutely driven nuts. So this gate turns off or like blocks any um, thing below a certain decibel rating. So at the moment, I'm going to mash away on my keyboard. You can't hear it, right? But if I go and uh, turn the gate down, you can now hear, you can hear that click, that like clangy noise from my keyboard. That's because my noise gate's been turned off. Obviously, your microphone will help block it depending on if it's omnidirectional, etc. But if I turn my gate back up, so mine said about four decibels. Absolute silence. Finally, you can also go into the menu, into the preferences, and you can tweak around with the latency settings in there. 
if for some reason you're doing um, vocal recording, so you've got some headphones on and you're wanting to listen to yourself uh, in feedback straight from the microphone through looping here, um, you can do that to get a better better like low latency um, but it's never going to be perfect it's going through digital sources on your computer you're best having a sound card that does live zero latency uh, loopback or feedback um, which my focus right does also don't forget that any new subscribers go up on the new subscribers board behind me so if you click subscribe you have a chance of your name in a video on my channel forever so Absolutely appreciate anyone that subscribes and comes along for the journey uh, exploring technology here on my channel. And I'll put your name up on the board. Finally, I'll be around in the comments section. So if you have troubles with this, leave a comment. I'll try and help you. Hopefully other people in the community can also help because they'll be following the same guides. Might be able to point something out that you maybe missed. Otherwise, I will try my best to help you out in getting your sound card set up with this amazing software, Voice Meter Banana. Maybe just go tweet at the devs and say thanks, or if you've got the cash and you can spare it, go give them a donation because this piece of software is amazing and it does absolute wonders for a microphone on Windows 10. All right, I'll catch you in the next video. See you, mate.